Before we begin today's episode, I'd like to start by saying grace, so please bow your heads. Dear Lord, please bless this episode. Hey, I said bow your heads. What, you don't believe in God? Well, if you're young American and religiously unaffiliated, you are not alone. And that's today's BFD. Brain Food Daily. Oh, hi, I didn't see you there. I'm Lelon Bowden, and this is Brain Food Daily. A recent Pew Research poll found that one third of Americans between the ages of 18 to 30 consider themselves to be religiously unaffiliated. In other words, 33% of young adults are heathens. Oh, ye of little faith. 40 years ago, this group made up just 7% of the population. Then five years ago, it was 15, and now it's 33? That makes the non-religious youth the fastest growing religious group in America. So what's going on? What's happening to these godless monsters? Well, since the 80s, the church has gotten much more political. The most vocal evangelical churches in America have taken a political stance on our most divisive issues. Issues like gay marriage, abortion, and birth control. This has the opposite of a halo effect for a lot of formerly religious families. When the church seems to care more about genital issues than spiritual issues, it turns young people off. Come on, church. You take care of my soul, I'll take care of my junk. Take gay marriage. I'm a young person. I grew up with Elton John singing the Lion King soundtrack, Richard Simmons sweating to the oldies, and Bert and Ernie roommating all over my television. I think you get what I mean. Most of us know openly gay people personally, and now it's just not that big of a deal. So when the church devotes so much time to hating on gay marriage, a lot of us are like, WTF, mate, WWJD. Finally, atheism and agnosticism have gotten a cool again. Thanks to folks like Bill Maher, Richard Dawkins, and the late Christopher Hitchens, it's not so scary to come out of your agnostic closet. Especially if you live in Sodom or Gomorrah. Ah, the, I mean LA or New York. And let's not forget San Francisco, ya demons. However, religious Americans still make up the majority. And this latest poll is more about the disillusionment with the church rather than a rejection of religious belief. People will always have a yearning to believe and to belong. Don't know what you believe? You can click the link in the description to go to religionfacts.com and read the basics on dozens of different belief systems. Who knows, you might just be a Zoroastrian. And no matter where you fall on the scale of belief, we would really love to hear what you think. Whether you're a believer or not, have you gotten less religious? Why? We want to hear from you. Hit us up in this comment section. Maybe I will comment at you. That's it for me. Hit the subscribe button if you believe in God and the other subscribe button if you don't. And we'll let you know the results never. Until next time, I'm Leland. Amen.